Snake is a good way. Like, different recovery, but both of them have good recoveries. Yeah. All right, now the fun thing. Now, the always... Top 8 match? I have no idea. Top 8 match. We got a uh, Pokemon versus H4. And we've got the Sephiroth back. Everyone loves the Pokepen Sephiroth. Really, like, everyone likes lots of Pokepen characters, but I think for everyone who's played friendlies with Pokepen and just watch Pokepen, generally speaking... People have always kind of said that, like, Pokepen's Sethroth yeah. is kind of like, um, I don't know. It's like the character that seemed like the most soul many ever since he played Ike, generally speaking. Um, and I've never really seen anyone play Sethroth the way Pokepen does. Just yeah. his movement, it just feels very conducive to his play style. Just yeah. lots of little short hop microspacing. As I'm saying all this, getting blendered by H4 kind of off stage. Yeah, um, that's definitely a weird thing. I also one thing I think that we see a lot from Pokemon that we don't see. I mean, like right there, it's the side B usage that I think is the big difference between Pokemon and a lot of other Sephiroths. Uh, kind of using it there, it broke both Tejal and went through, and then that was two grapes floating onto the beat. Yeah, and also just the momentum shift of getting that side B in. It's like all of a sudden you got to respect the fact that. Yeah. There's this thing that's going to get you, probably. Oh, just poking him. That was, what a reversal just in momentum. I felt yeah. like that was all H4 for the really the beginning of that. And then Pokemon wow, just able to find his way in. Yeah, no, definitely. I, 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 I've been loving to see Pokemon kind of commit more to the Sephiroth and the Rob because I think they're very unique in how they uh, let him express his play. And it really shows through. And it's just, it's, it's fantastic. Ooh. That unfortunate. I, I like the idea from H4 trying to use the roll invincibility to try and get through the, the orbs, but taking a lot of damage for that. And since those things always send you back towards the blast zone off stage, it's been put into a bad situation. Definitely needs to not. This, oh, the oh, that, prime ooh, angle here. Makes it back. That nair reversal? Oh my. Pokemon just like reversing the situation somehow. Yeah. And wow. backer's gonna kill. The kingdom is crumbling right now. <laughs> just yeah. H4 kind of in shambles a little bit right now. Really? Yeah, there we go. Getting yeah. the dash attack in to take that. Yeah, the little jab one, two in the wrong way there. And uh, Pokemon, unfortunately, yeah. getting the dash attack for it. But already up a whole stock against H4. But once again, this, ooh, that was pretty. That could have gone uh, awry pretty quickly. Uh, H4, though. He got some pretty good combos. Oh, not getting the spike kickbox that he wanted. Ugh, I saw what he was looking for, and it just barely missed on that. That's unfortunate. Okay, yeah. Unanswered stock so far, though. 80% completely unanswered. And, uh, ooh, I like that little oh. up, that little side B. That was very interesting usage there. How did he get the grab? What even was that? It, it just it all started with that side B. He got the up air, the side B going, and then there's immediately a lot of pressure applied, and Pokemon starts to play the game differently as a result. It, it okay. was just so fast. He just back the back throw just didn't even look like it real. It just happened so quickly, and it was back throw, back air. Yep, that's an upset out of shield though. And yeah, keeping it close, keeping it very close. Pikachu pretty light, and uh, but you know Severall pretty light too, actually. Yeah. I mean, this game could definitely go into H Force favor pretty quickly. However, Pokemon has 100% racked up pretty quickly. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, this is gonna look pretty hard. A little bit of an early F match. You know, I'm noticing the back air is kind of just flying over Pikachu's head. <laughs> I'm just like, like some of the, like that one hits, but yeah. I'm seeing some of them like Pikachu is just low can low profile some of them. I think. Um, okay, just gonna do some of the Pikachu stalling things. Yep, goes for the Thunder read right there. Pokemon getting hit on the other side of it though, so not dying. <laughs> what? Oh, down air out what? of just like from center stage. I'm pretty sure that was literally the first down air of the game, and the last it was the first and last move of the game for the down air. Honestly, that was a little bit of a hint of Jojo to Hobo with that down air. You know, a little you, bit. A little bit of a. A momentum change with a uh, you're like you kind of just shift your momentum really quickly and you just distort your hurt box and then you're just like eh, and you send it. Well, and all the dime a dozen Sephiroths, which is like most of them, they're always just spamming down air at the side trying to get the spike and they like mostly don't yeah. get it and it's just very like oh you're gonna do that again. No, like down air in the middle of the stage mm -hmm. is like what? No, that's not the option. Yeah. And Pokepen just big brain right there, just being like it is the option and it's yeah. gonna. That move doesn't just spike. It moves crazy strong. Just going to kill off the top there. Yeah. We've been opting to ledge trap a lot more just in general, which I feel like you should do with this character. You've got really good tools for it. And I think he also just reacts very well to these situations. And 
He's really quick to everything except for grab. I mean, except for uh, uh, roll from ledge. That, that's still terrifying to do against the player. a lot of damage. Yeah. These two dash frame. attacks, too. Just being able to two frame. A little slide right there. It's uh, the same as Cloud, same as Joker with the down tilt. You know, oh, yeah. Gotta... Down tilt, not dash attack. I mean, yeah, it, it could be a dash attack. It looks kind of. I always, always mix those two up. Yeah. But yeah, nice back air. Get him off stage. Actually throwing oh. it, it gets the kill. He always cancels it. It's always this for theatrics. But in this instance, he's like, nah, bro, this move's coming for you. Have to hold this one for me right quick. All right, that's not chill. That just did 30% with one move. I don't like those kinds of things. That's not... Yeah, this is. I mean, I'm deleting this character from the next match if I had my <laughs> choice. I mean, I love like love the love Sethroff as a character yeah. just in a vacuum. But no, nah, this character's gone. If I if I had my my way with it. Yeah, it just seems like H4 is really like patient and calculated playstyle that we saw earlier is just not really. Wow, that up, up air is a big old big old move. Yeah, he's struggling to find his mark right now. He's not finding the reads that normally get him uh, like really net him these kills off stage, down tilt, up in the air. Terrifying spot to be in. Yeah, and that 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 um. Wow. Oh my God, clipping wow. him. Yeah, that's. I don't even really know what Pokemon is particularly doing differently. I feel like H four is just making some some mistakes and oh. playing a little. Yeah, frankly, that was just kind of unchar uncharacteristic play there yeah. from H four, who is yeah. usually just a very just like you know consistent. Everything <laughs> kept pretty tight. Like I noticed, like when he did the um. Quick attack. He, you notice how he quick attacked down the stage, but he he landed like an inch or so above, so he yeah. fell into tumble and like yeah. had such a long time to recover. And from that moment, once Pokemon capitalized on that, he basically just didn't have a chance after that disadvantage. Yeah, definitely a lot of flaws just that we're seeing throughout. I think H4. Yeah, it's like you said, it's uncharacteristic of what we typically seen. It's also countered by the fact that Pokemon's playing pretty phenomenally right there. Oh my yeah, God, what a dare find. I mean, everyone generally in Washington kind of agrees that when when push comes to so shove, if someone's if when Pokepen's playing hot, they're just he's just kind of unbeatable. It's yeah. like the gen like everyone you know on the PR is good, but there's a thing of with Pokepen when Pokepen's playing at his best, no one wants just no one wants to fight Pokepen ever. Yeah. Just something about him, it's just a a, a built different kind of deal. <laughs> That's. Uh a pretty good word for it. Pokemon is built different. Okay, I like the aggressive use of the quick attack right there. Pops up Pokemon. Okay, pretty good shot. Oh, okay. Pokemon sliding off the platform with a little back air. A very thin hitbox. I'm really like, I'm honestly amazed at how consistently he's able to hit Pikachu. Wow. The going poke. Deep. Just going off stage against. You feel like a lot of times people think Pikachu kind of gets back to stage for free. You can't edge guard Pikachu. Pokemon's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just going to go kill this little rat with my ginormous uh, sword. Okay. I like throwing out okay. that back air underneath stage that kind of, you know, Pokemon wasn't really ready for it. A bit of an ambiguous tech timing as well, especially since you're going uh, on the underside. Right. Yeah. He was like, respect me off stage. Ex excuse me. I will be respected off stage. And if you don't, uh, you will hold this back air for that. And uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, Wing is definitely a massive enabler of uh, Pokemon's aggressive playstyle when it comes to off stage. That was funny. The double down tilt looked, looked kind of funny. He just kind of stood there and just like didn't move. Okay. Double, double purple balls of death. And they're going to explode pretty soon here. Send them to the blast zone. Okay. Back just going to gonna take the damage. Yeah, honestly, it's better than what was, what was coming his way from Sephiroth himself. It's true. Better to take the grapes than to uh, take the big old blue flame. Okay. But H4 is definitely, like, I mean, hey, it's it's a pretty even game so far. But Absolutely. Wing is on deck, so it definitely makes it much harder for H4 to kind of play around, especially in neutral with how fast this character moves. And, yeah, okay, there's a full set of... Uh, Need to get, oh, what is he doing? What are you doing, bro? Okay. Oh my god, that was so scary because you go under state, that turns into a tech, turns into a tech situation, and like, I wow. don't understand that. Yeah, I don't understand it, but yeah, was, I don't know. That was a setup and a half right there from Pokemon. That frame trap situation with that up air into the fair to catch H4 off stage, who essentially was forced to up B or else die, and still dies anyway. And down. Yeah, and for all I know, maybe if he tried to go to ledge, there was just like a uh, down tilt uh, waiting for him, and then he's gonna get exploded with the purple grapes, the, the grapes, anyways. Yeah. May so maybe, frankly, maybe it was big brain to go under there and just take the grape damage underneath. But up throw, up yep. throw. People oh, yeah. always forget. Beat your up throw, pretty nice. 
Yeah, Pikachu kind of like, especially those high percents, kind of puts you into 50-50. It's like, I'm going to dash attack you or I'm going to grab you, and both of them will kill you. Okay. Oh, the grab whipping because of the back air starting to come on out. Those things you typically see from Pika where their, their hurtbox shifts quite a bit. Okay. Oh, just a missed, not not able to turn around for the grab. And H4 just, you know, starting to bring this back. Uh, definitely going to have to contend with Wing here pretty soon. Just taking the damage. Just sit in center yeah. stage and just let it happen. Sometimes, yeah. Just probably better than just, like, trying to do something fancy and just dot and losing okay, for that, it. That's the first dare that Pokemon has hit and, like, the seven that he's used past, like, mid and a half. And I, I'm, I'm glad it worked out for him. Yeah, that move is kind of silly. How it just, it's like the it's funny seeing the sword just like go through platforms, yeah. like it entirely just goes through. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, H four, however, is definitely not out of this game. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I was about to say back air at that <laughs> point. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, that was just a little bit of a jinx, you know, just a real quick one. Uh, yeah, I think uh, that wraps it up here for us. Yep, we are moving on here to top eight, I believe, and yeah. we're having. Um, I know. Actually, I don't know who's coming. I'll let them introduce themselves. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, it's a uh, first on Massive Potato are going to be your top eight commentators. Right, right. We had a little bit of a taste of top eight right there. That yes, was just, the, a, just a taste. Just a taste. Uh, yeah. So once again, thank you to Chad Draws Things, TRC, and Tabletop Village for hosting this. Uh, yeah. Hosting us here. Uh, I've been Kyle Krogan. Uh, that's my Twitter at. And uh, Goose at uh, Goose Gusty. Thank yeah. you all so much for tuning in and definitely want to stick around for top eight. And oh, if you please do. And if you saw for all y'all who haven't registered for Port Priority oh, Seven. Port Priority Seven. Port it's in a casino. Very cool. N sixty four, you get to play Goldeneye. That's I I know I'm looking forward it's to your it. Last week to register, so you have until yes. Sunday to close out on that and then yeah. Just a quick two weeks after that, we'll be starting with Port Priority Seven. The PNW Super Major. It's gonna be hype. Hey, I think we're actually almost at that status, too. We weren't a super major yet, but we are almost at another Almost. Base. We're almost. so close. Almost. Very, so very close. close. Let's get it over the hump. Yeah. All right. Have a good night, y'all. Peace out.